the open space like this um, with some um, with a few tables for people to stand yeah. next to. So, no, it's not a restaurant, <coughs> um, but the catering company mm -hmm. will, will bring everything that we need to get the food ready. Yes. Um, but it's going to be a, a small place, not a lot of room. Or do you, yeah. It's up to you. Um, well, we can break on the food for a sec. Um, so I know that in the CFAST class, you guys yes. talk about um, food sanitation. Yes. Um, and I just want to know, because I don't, I haven't taken the class, I don't know what Anthony teaches you. Um, so if you could just tell me some of the things that you guys have learned, like what are things that you remember from the class? Before I cut, I use a uh, cutting board. I before I cut, I need to sanitize uh -huh. and clean, sanitize. Uh -huh. So that's all exactly right. Um, so one of the most important things is um, cross contamination. Cross contamination. So do you know what contamination means? Do you sound familiar though? You you want you learned it? Yeah, we learned it. So contamination is when something is clean, something yeah. is sanitized, and then it gets contaminated with um, something that's dirty. Yes. So um, the word cross contamination mm -hmm. means that um, the the dirtiness or the um, mm -hmm. the um, parasites or the the bad things from the raw meat get contaminated on the vegetables because you use the same knife. Yeah. So that's what cross-contamination is. So that's what you were talking about, how if you cut different things, yes. you need to sanitize the knife and change your gloves. Yes. Um, so the most important things are um, knowing when to wear gloves and knowing when to wash your hands. Yeah. Um, because if, if we make a mistake and we wear gloves and we touch meat and then we touch vegetables, yes. um, someone can get really sick yes. and we don't want that. Um, so it will be, I don't think that we will be touching much raw meat because yes. the caterers will, they will cook things ahead of time. Yes, yes. Um, but it's still important to um, use gloves um, whenever you um, whenever you're touching anything, because something that's on your hands. If you, you know, if I touch the whiteboard and I touch the table and I touch the doorknob and then I touch someone's food, all of the germs. You know what germs are? So germs are like um, 
you know, like little, really, really, really tiny um, bugs or like, how do you explain germs? Like, s- like little, like bacteria. yeah, bacteria mm-hmm. or like viruses or so anything. So if, if I'm, a, if I am working in the kitchen and I sneeze on my hands, then my hands have germs on them. And anything I touch has germs on it, and this has germs, and your gas. Yeah. So that's why it's always important if you um, if you are gonna touch some food, you don't touch anything else with those gloves. Um, And if you do, you change gloves. Yes. Um, And so um, if you ever if you ever don't know if you should wear gloves or you don't know how to change gloves or you don't know where to get gloves, you can always ask me or you can ask the, the caterers because they're going to bring lots of gloves and they're going to bring towels and little sanitation buckets. Um, so they will make it easy to keep everything very clean. Um, and we, um, sometimes in restaurants, um, as you know, it can be really hard to keep everything clean because there's so many different items and so yes. many different little surfaces yes. that um, things get contaminated really easily. Yeah. But here, because everything will be cooked ahead of time and um, it will be much easier. Mm-hmm. So we are, we're lucky because of that. Yes. Um, what else? I have- Food Born Illness, I have, if you would like, from the same organization that certified us for Serve Safe. I feel like he knows what it is. Yeah, personal hygiene. That's what all like the CFAS thing is about. Review. It's up to you. Um, do you have any questions about, about you know, hand washing or gloves or how to keep things safe? Questions? You know it all. You're an expert. Do you know, do you know what he means by hand gloves? Uh, for example, I wash my hand uh, before I use glove. I wash my hand. How to dry my hand? Can I use uh, some tissue? Or um, there will be um, next to the sink. There will be paper towels. Yeah. So like in the bathroom here, um, the you grab them from the bottom, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's important to dry your hands with those because those are clean. Yes. If you, if I, you know, wipe my hands like this, mm-hmm. my hands are dirty again because my shirt is dirty. Yes, yes. Or if I take just a towel mm-hmm. that's sitting on the table, mm-hmm. I don't know if the towel is clean. Yes. So you have to w- dry your hands with mm-hmm. something that are that's um, that you know is clean. And the only thing that you can do that with is with um, paper mm-hmm. towels. Yes, yes. So the the caterer will bring those, or they will already be there for you. Yes. Um, and one thing we can do is when we get there, I can show you where to wash your hands, and mm-hmm. um, we can make sure that you know how to wash your hands properly. Yes. And then we can I'll show you where to get the towels to dry. Um, yes. Do you know the Do you know the difference between when I say a towel and when I say a paper towel? What's different? Uh, I don't know. So a towel is like um, Do you know the word rag? It's yeah. like mm-hmm. It's like a towel when you get out of the shower. Mm-hmm. Um, that's so in the kitchen we use those. I'm sure you use those. Um, sometimes they're blue. Sometimes they're white. Um, and a paper towel is like in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. It's like paper, um, and you throw it away. Yes. So the paper towel you throw away, but the regular towel, you know, you don't mm-hmm. throw that away. You just wash it. Yes. So the difference is that uh, it's the different material. Mm-hmm. Um, the towel is just, it's cotton, mm-hmm. 
and you can wash it if it gets dirty. Um, a paper towel is mm -hmm. made of paper, yeah. and um, you just throw it away when it's yes. dirty. And sometimes I live with my uncle too, we never use so. Uh, normally we use soap and something. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I use uh, sanitizer, and I have I want to eat something. I use sanitizer. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So if I eat uh, something, is dirty or? Well, can I get some? So you, you're talking about sanitizer or lotion? Uh, yes, sanitizer or lotion. So the difference is, um, and they will bring that, that will be there. Um, sanitizer or lotion is something you can use after you wash your hands to make your hands extra, extra clean. Um, you never want to use it instead of washing your hands. So if you, you have to wash your hands, but you can also, if you want, use the sanitizer lotion. You yes. can never only use the lotion. Does that uh -huh. make sense? Um, so the difference is, so that's the a lotion, but when in the restaurant, when we talk about um, sanitizer, that is, um, it's like water um, that you can soak a towel in and then it's in the towel yes. to wipe things with mm -hmm. um, so <clears throat> just when when someone says mm -hmm. um, you know if I ask you can you sanitize that table yeah. you know you don't mm -hmm. go take a bunch of lotion and then <laughs> wipe it on the table yeah. you get the you go to the sanitizer bucket and you get the towel from outside, yeah, yeah. and you wipe off the table. Oh. So, I'll, I want to make sure you understand the difference. So, can, can you explain to me the difference between sanitizer lotion and sanitizer? Uh, sanitizer lotion, uh, after I wash my hand, I can use mm -hmm. and sanitize, sanitize. sanitizer. Uh, before I I cut something, uh, I need to clean the table, so I need to take sanitize and uh, what is it? Or like bucket. Uh, bucket. You all are so close. So I need to uh -huh. sanitize the table. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah. And also, I need to use a, a towel. Perfect. So that's yeah, that's exactly right. Um, um, so that's important, and it sounds like you, it sounds like you understand how to do it. Um, but I can tell you that it's very hard. It's one thing to to know what to do, but then when you go into a new place and you're working with new food and new people. It can be hard to remember exactly yes, what yes. to do. Mm -hmm. um, I know that when I learned about all that stuff, um, it's it's easy to remember. Yeah. But then when I go to work, sometimes it's hard to remember how to do everything. So, so if you ever forget, um, you know, how to sanitize or if you forget the name of something or or when to wash your hands um, that's when you can always ask me or you, you yes. can always ask the caterers and because it's more important that we make food yes. that's clean and healthy mm. than making food really fast you know it's better to go slow and make sure everything is clean than yes. to go fast and have everything be dirty um, so I, I think that might be a challenge because it's it will be something you've never done before because like yes. you said you cleaned things differently, yes. um, in places you have worked, mm -hmm. so that's okay. Um, we will we'll make sure together that we both know how to do everything right. Yes, yes. I've got pictures up. Oh, cool. Ooh. So that's the flour. That's the dessert. Test things. Cool. 
Okay. Um, maybe do it. Can I explain some of it? Because you might have to prepare the water. Sure. Okay. All right, Boite. So we'll kind of go over some of the things and ask you to tell us what they are and what they mean. Um, just so you kind of recognize some of the food that you'll be preparing. Yes. This, um, this on uh, that menu is called spa water. Spa water. And can you kind of see what's inside of the, the water? Sometimes um, this is lime and lemon and cucumber. They add fruits to make the water taste better. Um, do you know what I mean when I say what refreshing? What does that mean to you? So refreshing basically means tastes good. Uh, for uh, refreshing. Um, so refreshing kind of means it makes you feel better or feel and tastes good. Um, so some of the water at the event, they will have entire tables like this, but smaller, with water stations, with this, a big container of water, um, and small cups for them to serve themselves. They may ask you to put the fruit in the water for them. Um, and this is what we will be having. So dessert, um, have, is dessert a familiar word for you? No. No? Okay. Dessert is what you eat after dinner. Yes. So after a big meal or after something savory, like a meat or... Um, something that is not sweet. So this is what they will have for um, a, the dessert table. So a table like this mm. may be bigger with just sweet things. Um, and they will have chocolate mm. where people will do what this guy is doing and they call it chiseling off. Um, so they will take a piece of chocolate um, that they have used a tool for to break off. Um, and they will have also strawberry with this yeah. table. Do you know what strawberries are? Yes. That word, well, the American word for strawberry. <laughs> um, uh, I have a question. If, yeah. if like this, uh, can I use uh, cream wrap or something? You're not going to be, we won't have to deal much with this. Um, the, this the good thing is that the customers do it for themselves, yes. so we don't really have to prepare, um, and this is not a usual dessert, this is something that is new and different, um, you, I have never done that before, or seen that before, yes. so you might never do that again, um, so, but the, we don't need to we don't need to work over there. That will be outside of the kitchen. Just yes. where, yeah, so just so you're sort of familiar with um, the food that will be served that we're not doing. So that will, be the ch that will be the dessert where the guests will come up, they decide, I want a piece this big, they get the piece, and then they can go eat it. Um, and now um, we will ask you a few questions. This is what some other um, of your team members will be working on. Mm -hmm. So you may have to put vegetables on a plate on a platter yes. for the buffet attendant to bring out to the buffet. So this is also some a, a tray that you may have to work on, which is just arranging vegetables that have been chopped um, probably before they get there. Yes. Um, on a tray so they can take them out and put them on a big table for guests. Do you know what a buffet is, Boise? Buffet, yeah, I know. What's a buffet? Uh, one, uh, everything we put here and people, I have to tell yeah. you, people come and whatever they like, uh -huh. they can take. Uh -huh. and Perfect. We, all we prepare for them and we put all yeah. awesome. so it will be the the same thing so yeah. they will have um, 
So we, we will make the appetizers that they pass out, but there will also be a buffet for the guests to come to with vegetables and chips and um, dip. Um, so we may need to prepare, we may not need to prepare, I don't know yet, yeah. but um, it won't be anything very complicated, yeah. stuff that I know you can do. So, uh, for example, if I prepare uh, some vegetable for them, I can I put one uh, stray on, tr on three kinds like tomato, uh, beans, sprout, like this. Uh -huh. I need how to put. You can I, you can put them together. Uh, However, you think because, looks very good. Because they're all vegetables um, and don't need to be cooked. Yes. You, you probably wouldn't want to do uh, meat with vegetables um, or anything very wet with lots of sauce. Yes. But because these are all vegetables and they're all, they don't need to be cooked, so you don't have to worry about contamination. Yes. Um, they can all be together. Okay. So the rest of these, the pictures I will show you, you will have already seen. Um, we would like you to tell us what the picture is, what's in the picture. Yeah, if you, so these are going to be the menu items we talked about. Yes. So do you remember what this one is? Uh, sushi. Mm -hmm. you remember the name of it? It's a, it's a, it's a place. It's nearly What's it? Sauce, wasabi, or so that, so it is, you're right, it is sushi. Um, it's, remember the name of the California roll. Oh, California. Do you know what California is? California. California. It's a it's city. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's a state. So a it's, state. A, it's like, it's like, yeah. so Denver is a city and yeah. Colorado is a state. Yes. So Denver is in Colorado, mm -hmm. um, and so California is a state, just yes. like Colorado, and then mm -hmm. there's cities in it. Mm -hmm. so California is um, one of the biggest states, and they eat lots mm -hmm. of avocados there. So yes. yep. California roll has avocado. Yeah. All right, and then the next picture. Do you remember what this picture I is? Of? Indonesian Perfect. There's a couple of names that they have on there. Um, they usually they call it gyoza or pot stickers. Pot sticker. Uh -huh. Yes. And I've got extra pens if you would like an extra. No more or less. <laughs> it's okay. I would be happy to grab one if you'd like. And then you see the center where it has, I think that's lettuce, or it might be bean sprouts. Um, your job will also to be to add those things things to make the platter look attractive or yes. make it look good. They will they have will have little things called a garnish, mm -hmm. um, which might be an herb or another smaller vegetable to make the platter look good, like yes. it does in the picture. Do you remember what this one uh, was? Shrimp and peas. Yes, uh -huh. perfect. And then it kind of has those markings because the shrimp that we will be serving is also going to be grilled. It'll look probably it's very similar to this picture. And then this part, do you remember? We talked about it was crispy. And it has mushroom. It's okay. Uh, it's called wonton. And you notice the small thing in the center? I think that is called... Um, that might be parsley or cilantro. You will have, again, vegetables and 
herbs and things to decorate the platters to make it look nice again, like this picture. Do you remember what this one was? This one, chicken, chicken satay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you'll have also have a sauce to put on the platter. And then lastly, this one. Meatball. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then they will also have a, a sauce. Yeah. Many of the things you will be serving um, will need a small um, container, like this picture here with sauce, so servers can offer guests the appetizer with a sauce. Yes, but you will have lots of tools, like the ones in these pictures. You will be adding to the appetizer so the guests can more easily consume it. Okay, so I think we should probably wrap up. Yeah. Um, so, of everything we talked about, the sanitation and contamination and, yes. um, and all the different foods and, you know, the what an appetizer is and a buffet, what do you think you, what do you think you know the best? What, what are you most comfortable with? Do you think you know? Um, think you know hand washing the best? Do you think you know sanitation the best? Do you think you know um, the think, meatballs? Uh, some tea, some and hand wash uh -huh. in the face for people who eat this. Uh -huh. Then it's the face. Oh, yeah, I think you. I think you know that really well. Mm -hmm. I think you know a lot about that. Um, is there something you think you um, want to learn more about? Something yes. that, something that you is there anything that you don't feel comfortable that you know, mm. or anything that you want to know more about? You can also, you can always, if you remember something and you think to yourself, oh, I want to know more about that, you can just write it down or you can um, put on, message me on Facebook or Thank you. you can, um, so if you, if you write it down, then you'll remember and you can ask me and then I can give you an answer. Um, uh, yeah, last, uh, last week we are going to kitchen, we go to kitchen uh -huh. and we I was the play I was the play uh -huh. and uh, it's a di very different from for me because uh, when I was in Malaysia uh, we used to wash machine but uh, very different machine uh -huh. so we, we put uh, sometimes we put uh, with soup and something uh -huh. So, uh, so you guys used the one yeah. downstairs, the really big just one. Just was, and I don't put ne anything as soup or something, uh -huh. or anything. I, it's very different yeah. for me, so I, <laughs> well, I don't understand that. Well, yeah, there are no, different, that makes sense. There are different it's machines. Very different. Mm -hmm. um, the one here is very big and very expensive, yeah. and it has all the soap inside of it already. Yes. Um, the the place where I work, mm. there's no machine. You just scrub with your hands with yes. soap. Mm. Um, so every place is different. Mm. Um, because this event, because there's no kitchen, yes. because we will just be in a small room, yes, um, we don't have to wash any dishes. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to worry about that for this event because they will take everything the caterers will take everything back with them. Yes. Um, and I think a lot of the plates we'll use will be paper plates, so you can throw them out. Yeah. Uh, you can recycle them after you are finished. Mm. Um, so just know that dishwashers will be different everywhere you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, is this similar to what you have seen? Uh, yeah. And then the one downstairs, it's very large. That's 
The one you worked with? I've never seen before this. Yeah. Yeah. We use very large downstairs yes. because there are a lot of people that come to our events yes. and it helps us get the dishes clean mm. more quickly yes. so we can use them again. So I'm sure if you work at Whole Foods they will have a different dishwasher. It will yeah. it will